Hey guys, what is going on? It is GT Autoworks here with another video, and today we're going to be customizing and doing a quick review on the Canis Kalahari Topless. So let's get into it. So I just bought this Canis Kalahari Topless for $40,000 on Southern San Andreas Super Autos or whatever it's called website. And um, yeah, hopefully it's going to be worth the $40,000 I paid for it. Let's see. So let's see how it sounds from the get-go. I see that the exhaust pipe is like right on the side on front of the rear left tire, which is pretty interesting. Why? Sounds different. Pretty good handling. Likes to slide. Very, very skinny tires. It's like almost like bike tires. This thing is very, uh, speedy. Guessing it is all-wheel drive because it is a, uh, it says um, it's classed as an off-road car, so you know. Kind of liking the no door frames and stuff. Very nice. I hope we can fit four, four people in it. I'm guessing it's only two, but it'd be cool if you can only if you could fit like four people. That'd be cool. Have them sitting on the back. So we're going to LS Customs right now to go customize it. From the get-go, this thing is going like... Can't even see my hands in the way. Um, I'm guessing like 80, 90 miles per hour right now. Yeah, I hate when some cars are like like that and you can't even see the... um, You can't even see the speedometer because the graphics are not good enough. And they make it so... They put it in the way. But, you know, that's life. So... It has mud on it. I don't know why it's still there right now, even though I'm in Los Angeles Customs, but whatever. Brakes, no, we don't need that. Armor, we don't need. Bumper, very important. Wow. I want to go with the secondary mat, black bull bar. Rear bumper. Yeah, though, let's go with this. Not many options, but still cool, though. So we're gonna do a full engine upgrade. Exhaust. So we can have the exhaust on the side, or we can have it relocated to the back. I'm liking it. Explosives, no hood. Spare tire. Yeah, sure, let's go with the spare tire. Horn. Let's do a. Now we're not spending that much money on a horn. Just go with the just go with the cop horn for now. Lights Xenon. Uh no, let's not go with the color kit. Full uh lost slash theft prevention plate. Let's go with the yellow and black. Um, primary, we're gonna go, as you know, we're gonna go with, like, a red. I don't know which one yet, but, but the, I gotta admit, the racing blue and the ultra blue look really nice on it. But, we're not getting that. Okay, so. Um, so there's the red. I kind of like that star on the hood for the for the Canis. I'm pretty sure it's the Canis logo. No, I don't like that Torino red. Formula. No lava red. That's too uh orangey. Too bright. Blazer no grace red. Garnet red. No garnet red. Garnet garnet red is very uh, ugly to me. Sunset. No, it's like orange. Cabernet, no. Wine red. I think we may go with the wine red. Wine red, I'm sorry. You guys go with the wine, wine red for today. Oh, you can't even do secondary? Oh. Damn. Okay, so, no. Skirts. Matte black sidesteps. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. 
Transmission, full transmission upgrade. Turbo. No, we're not gonna do turbo today. I don't like the sound of the turbo for like an off-road car. So of course we're gonna go with some off-road tires and rims. Cause it is an off-road vehicle, so might as well. Kind of like the rock crawlers. Oh my god, these t tires are so damn skinny. Oh my god. Never driven a car with sk sk tires that skinny. At least I don't think I have. We make it with the Nevis. Yeah, let's go with the Nevis. Or Nevis, I don't even know how. I don't know how to pronounce it. We're gonna black out the wheels because. You know, those are my colors. Yeah, we're just gonna black out the wheels. Tires, tire design, custom tires. Nah, we're not gonna go. Actually, yeah, let's go with the custom tires. Change my mind. Bulletproof, no. Tire smoke, black tire smoke. Windows. There's really no windows, just the, the front windshield. What's the point of that? I kind of wish there was no windshield whatsoever, because it kind of looked pretty cool. Um, let's go with the... Um, nah, I'll just keep it regular. So that's it. Um, let's do a quick test. It's like one of the coolest sounding muffler, mufflers I've ever, ever heard in GTA. Kind of sounds electric, but it, like it's not, so it's kind of weird. This thing has very good handling, except for when it starts drifting. That's a that's a big problem. It's very good. Oh crap! Oh, oh, oh. Very um good acceleration though. It looks like the suspension is probably really good because lots of lots of wheel gap. When I'm turning, you can see the suspension is like going to work. This is not a very good place to test it out. Kind of wish that, kind of regret putting that um that white tire on it because it doesn't go good with the car. There's like a some sort of black rim and yeah maybe not this so let's take it on this little uh, trail thing over here oh my god this thing loves to um go quick though like great acceleration for a small car like this Maybe in a future video I'll take this up chili head. Or go to the swamp with it. Gotta get there, gotta get there. Okay, just barely it. Let's take it to the um let's take it to like the beach or something. See if there's more like bumps to test out the suspension. It's different having a car with really, really skinny tires for a change. Looks like the water's kind of glitching out over there. It's strange. Take it up this little ramp right here. Woo! Deep water test. Easily. Easily. Oops. 
It's not even making it all the way up the rims, surprisingly. Kinda wish this thing had a little bit softer suspension. That'd be, that'd be cool, but it doesn't have it, so. So we can make it do this. guess that's it for today's video. Uh, thank you for tuning in with me, and I uh, hope to see you guys next time. Peace.